Hey there, so I'm going to be talking about stores in this one, just a brief introduction, and I'm going to use Tailwind CSS, because why not? So, and I'm going to stick that here in Svelte head, put that the CDN tag in right there, and that'll put it in the head of the document. So here I got my app.svelte um, component, and I'm going to have a script up here, and I'll have my div right here, and I'm going to give it a class equals um, height 16, width 16, and background purple 600. Okay, so these are the different colors. If I do 5, 4, 3, or I could change this to something like orange, something like that. Oh, wow, that's a big difference. Okay. So I'm going to make my store right now, store.js. So if you do a dot, then the svelte um, affix, is, is that what it's called, suffix? No, it gets uh, deleted. Store.js. So I'm going to show you just the the uh, most basic store. Import writable. So there's no e, writable from svelte slash store. Okay, so we're going to create a writable store. So how do we do this? We const. Um, I'm going to call this square color. That's what the store is called. And I'll say square color store just to make it absolutely clear. Writable and then you put in what is going to be writable. Um, so the variable is going to be I'm going to just put in a number. Okay, I'm going to put in a number because this here will let us make it darker or lighter. Okay, so I'm just going to change this number right here as the color. So maybe a better name would be square uh, shade store. Okay, so it's going to start out at, how about 700? Okay, oops, I'm... there we go. And then to use it in other components, we're going to export it. So square shade store. Okay. So this is what our store looks like. Here in app.svelte, we're going to from, or we're going to Import, uh, import square shade store from dot slash store dot js. Okay, so this is not this is not going to be this value here, but it's going to be the store that contains that value. So we can't put this directly into here. So what I'm going to do is create another variable, let shade equal uh, 500. And I'm going to put that right here, shade. And I'm going to change this back to purple. Okay, and then we want to subscribe to the store. So we want to know, anytime this store changes, then update this value. So to do that, we need to subscribe to the square shade store. S dot subscribe, and you pass it a function that, so the value of the store, whenever it updates, it'll run this function with the value being value. So this here is the value. Okay, and we're just going to sh set shade to value. Um, so, for example, if I, so you'll see it got darker because now it's using this 700. If I change it, it'll be 600, 400, 200, okay? So now it's updating um, shade to value. So I'm just going to put 0 because uh, gets updated by subscribe function, okay? <coughs> So now let's say we have another component. So this is all great, but we could probably just do that all in one component and we wouldn't really need this store. At this point, it's not very useful. So I'm going to make a darken.svelte button. Okay. So what this button will do is it'll um, increase, increase the darkness of the, of the square. Okay. So we're going to need a script tag, and there's going to be a function in it which is going to darken uh, darken the square. 
And it, actually, it's not going to darken the square. What it's going to do is darken this writable store, which will then let this app know that it's been updated, and it'll update it. So we're going to do the same thing as here, import square shade store from store.js. I'll just copy paste that. So now we also have access to the store. And what you're going to do is you can either set the store or you can update the store. So if you want to use this value that it already has and modify it based on this, then you're going to want to update it. If you want to just totally overwrite it, you're going to use set. So for darken, we're going to update it. Um, so here, so square shade store. So on click equals darken. Okay, when it gets clicked, it's going to get darkened. I'll put dark in there. And what it's going to do is square uh, the square oops, square shade store dot update. And you're going to pass it a function. Same thing. Value goes to value plus equals 100. And I'm going to make this an integer so we can do math with it. And then in here, so these imports should be at the top. Um, what I'm going to do is, oops, okay, I'm going to import the darken button, darken from dot slash darken dot svelte, and I'll put it down here. Okay, and right now it's just breaking it. Uh, what we need to do is value goes to value um, return value plus 100. There we go. So it gets dark until it breaks it because uh, Tailwind CSS doesn't have a shade that goes up into a thousand or whatever. So we're also going to make a lighten dot svelte and this won't take too long because it's basically darken dot svelte but instead of darkening it's going to do minus 100 so all these darkens are going to become lighten is that if that is a word lighten lighten yeah I think that's a word okay um, and then we're going to import it, import lighten from dot slash lighten dot svelte. Okay, and then we'll just put it right here. Okay, now we got to darken and we got to lighten, okay? So the last thing we want to do is have a reset button. So I'll just use this thing again here. So the other thing you can do, rather than updating it, is setting it. And in this case, you're just going to set the value. You don't even need to know what the value was before. You're just going to straight up set it to, let's say, 100. Um, so I'm going to call this max light. So it's not going to be relative to what it is now. It's just going to set it right to the lightest possible option. And you could do this with max dark as well or something. So square shade store is just going to set to 100. So here we're returning this value minus 100. Whatever it was before, minus 100. This is just going to straight up 100 is what it is. Um, so let me call it max light. Um, and then I'm going to put that in here. Import max max light from max light that's fell okay and then right down here we'll have max light okay so now when i do max light it becomes the lightest possible i don't know if you can see that but there it is you can darken it then from there and you can lighten it and you could make a max dark also if you wanted but that is the basic intro to stores that is to um Writable stores, there's more types of stores that I'll get into in later videos, but for now that is the, I mean, it's a lot to take in, um, it confused me a bit at first, but once you get a hang of it and you try it once or twice, then it'll make more sense. So, I hope this made sense, and I will make more store videos in the future, and that is all.